Hi, my name is Mike Zuckerman, and we're going to talk about service-oriented architecture, the practice and principles, and how advanced data virtualization can bring benefits across the board to your organization as you move forward with SOA. Cuplix is a data integration and data management company, and core and central to our theme is the fact that standards like SOA are important for you to reduce your costs and to drive benefits across your organization. And technologies like advanced data virtualization were made for SOA. We enable SOA better than any other technology set out there. Service-oriented architecture is about delivering reusable software and capabilities as services. Fundamentally, a set of components that can be used and whose interfaces and functionality are published and discoverable. Uh, we talk about these basic principles, but there's, there's conflict with every vendor implementation. Every vendor has defined a set of tools with subtle barriers in place for the other vendors that limit interoperability and create more impediments to success. Impediments are defined as extra work you have to do and things that make it more difficult. Fundamentally, SOA has never defined a true data services layer. The notion of metadata has been important, but it hasn't been prescribed specifically, and that's why some of the difficulty exists in part. Part of the challenge with SOA is that all roads lead to Rome. So you can implement SOA, though, as a practical matter, web services seems to stand out. You can do it with REST, DCOM, CORBA, SOAP, RPC, anything you want out there uh, to map you know, multiple business domains together. And that's part of the complexity of SOA and, and why a standard with all roads leading to Rome can many times be no standard at all. Part of the challenge is that SOA vendor tools have become very tedious and complex. When you get to things like data integration, which is the core and fundamental, uh, one of the top benefits of implementing SOA, um, there's a lot of discussion about metadata, but you really fall short. Um, there's no real data integration layer. And when you have to create wrapper web services to try to scale all these things, it just doesn't work. Um, the transformations at some level and data quality become tremendously difficult. And the cost effectiveness of it just doesn't seem valid anymore. Advanced data virtualization as a technology set uh, for data integration and building out SOA is leveraged in many ways. You have an immediate data dictionary replete with live metadata, living, breathing metadata that adjusts to the underlying systems. And this promotes instant reusability and redeployment because any data in any system can be brought into any new application. Uh, this is consistent with and aiding all of the basic principles of, of service-oriented architecture. Advanced data virtualization also delivers the strategic redeployment of data and this reusability across a diversity of landscapes. So it's not just relational. So much about SOA, you know, we're speaking relational all the time. And, and the fact is that data reusability has to span a global enterprise, which will be relational XML object, proprietary APIs with with objects or relational databases hidden away, or even the NoSQL technologies. No other technology other than advanced data virtualization can enable SOA in this way. Uh, advanced data virtualization delivers a live, true data services layer to support the SOA process across all these different sources. And you can use a cloud model or an on-premise model. Advanced data virtualization you know, gives you a virtual view of data. So you can see the recombinant variances of the data without doing the federation, without moving it. This is in sharp contrast to the old EII technologies or to the basic data virtualization that's been out there for many years. It it really doesn't give you the power of a virtual view um, without moving the data. And, and this virtual view really empowers reusability and accessibility by consuming apps and resonates so loudly with the underlying premise of SOA. So you need to look at advanced data virtualization. This reusability spans every domain, every application. You can move data from any of these components into any of these other components or any custom app, any data structure. And that ultimately is the goal of SOA. So so in the final analysis, advanced data virtualization will empower your efforts to build a true data services layer and get the benefits of SOA going for your organization better than any other approach and will give you a stronger return on investment better than any other technology you could use to empower SOA. Customers like you can deliver business benefits at many times the speed with greatly reduced cost and a significantly lower risk. 
So thank you for sharing a little bit of your time and learning more about SOA. Uh, register for our in-depth discussions of SOA implementation in our technology webinar series uh, by emailing sales at cuplix.com and we'll send out the invitations. Thanks and have a great day.